Hey guys, welcome to RT Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check journals quartiles using Scopus database for free. You don't need to use any external website or third party application uh, to check the journal quartiles. Let's start with this. Before getting into that, I just want to show you that there are four quartiles Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So Q1 falls under 75 to 100%, and Q2 is from 50 to 75 percent q3 means 25 to 50 percent and q4 means 0.1 to 25 percent so let's quickly go into the scopus database and i'll show you a particular journal and i'm going here you you need to have an institute login so that uh, you can see this particular option like search fine so let me go to sources and i'm selecting title and I have this particular journal, Journal of Machine and Computing. So let's click on that. And you can see that uh, this is the journal name, site score, and this is 72%, which means this is this comes under 50 to 75, right? Obviously, this is Q2. According to this, it comes under Q2. So this is very easy to check uh, the journal quartiles like this. And here you can see that this is the uh, metrics of uh, last year 2024 and if you uh, want to check the previous years you can select and you can see that it was in q3 and now in this year it has improved to q2 so generally people will be using this particular website schemago jr so where if i search for the same journal and uh, this is the journal, right? Journal of Machine and Computing. And here, it is not updated. It is showing as Q4. You can see that the coverage and 2024, it is showing as Q4. So this is why I'm saying that uh, it's better to check it in the Scopus database itself uh, based on this percentile. So let's do one more task and I'll search for some other journal. Uh, artificial artificial intelligence uh, review. Let me go for this journal. Artificial intelligence review. And this is one of the good journal for review papers. And you can see that uh, it is showing 99%, which means it is in Q1, all right? So now let me just open this. And you can see over here whether it is uh, covered uh, with the current year or discontinued. Fine, if it is discontinued, it will be mentioned here. And uh, let me take the ISSN and I'll use it in schema group. And this is one way of checking the quartiles. Right, right now it is showing Q1, this is updated. Sometimes you might see it, it is in Q1, fine. Sometimes uh, this particular website will not update the values. So you will end up uh, with uh, not knowing the current quartiles of a particular journal so i would uh, recommend or i would suggest uh, people to use scopus database to check the proper updated quartiles hope this is clear for you if you have any queries let me know in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching the video